Hello, welcome to Ekidel, where future engineers come to learn structural design. Today, I'll be showing you how to insert this balcony cantilever slab as you can see it here. Okay, this building is an office complex as you can see it here. This is a four-story office complex having a cantilever slab almost all around. And this cantilever slab is for a purpose of a balcony. And also, if you can see also on this office complex, it also have a cantilever as you can see it here for an office also and also it also has a it also has a reinforced concrete wall downstairs okay and also in my coming video i'll be showing you how to detail how to design analyze and detail this full structure so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i will say you should click on the subscribe button down below so you don't miss my coming video okay so let's begin right now Okay, so to begin the modeling of this balcony cantilever slab, as you can see it here, the first thing we'll do right now is to go to our floor plan. Now, to begin that, we will now have to click on this place, on this story, navigate to floor to plan view. Now, once the plan view is being activated, this is a this is the fourth story, as you can see it here. This is the fourth story, as you can see that we have successfully inserted all the cantilever slab, which is the balcony slab for the at this fourth story. Now, if you go to the First story right now, you will see that there are some parts that we have not inserted this cantilever slab. So I'll use this section right now to show you how to insert a balcony cantilever slab here in Prota structure. Now to do that right now, the first thing you do right now is to click on modeling, as you can see it here. And I'm using the Prota structure version of 2021 5.1.252, as you can see it here. So once you click on this model right now, the first thing to do right now is to click on slab. Once you click on slab right now, this slab dialog box will appear just here. Now you will have to change the type, as you can see it here, to a cantilever because we are trying to insert a cantilever so go to the type and click on cantilever this type 12 simply means cantilever now once you click on cantilever right now next thing to do right now is to impute your slab thickness so this h here simply means slab thickness so i'll have to impute slab thickness of 150 because i want to use my slab i want to use a slab thickness of 150 millimeter now on this on this place called relative level i would say you should leave this place at zero but when we are doing the 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 rough foundation for this structure i will show you how to use this 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 tab on this place but for now leave this level as zero now also you also impute your your concrete cover i want to use 20 millimeter as my concrete cover so next thing right now i'll do right now we are done with our general or I call it geometry of slab now we have to go to loads now on this load right now the first thing to do is to impute your your, your dead load if you check on this place right now you can see a um, series of dead load values right now that if you click on this place it will automatically give you load and if you change again it will give you another load but for now right now we want to insert our value and we want to input our value of one 0.5 kN per meter square so we want our value to be 1.5 kN per meter square so just input the dead load value right now here now on this imposed load right now since we say we are trying to design since we say this is an office complex so on this place right now for it to know how to impute this office um the that load called office complex you just right click on this place and then you will see saver type of load i can see it right now so you just click the one which which is which is best um and good for the structure that you're, that, you're, that you're performing or designing so in this case we are designing for an office complex so just go here right now and click on offices and general use so once you click on that right now you now see also roof load and also snow load and also you also see rain load i'll say you should leave all here as default in my next video i'll be showing you when to apply all this load okay so right now again we now move to cantilever on this cantilever right now you can see every every tabs right here i will show you in my next video how to apply these two tabs right here but for now we will just impute the cantilever length because we want to know the length of the cantilever which is from this point to this point right here so so in this case we just input the cantilever length we want our length of cantilever to be 1000 millimeter so just input that value right now like i said before in my next video i will show you when to apply these two values but for now for this structure this is just what we want to apply which is the length on this case now also the next thing to do right now is to impute the load on the cantilever now this place called parapet load simply means the load on the cantilever edges just here so in this place right now you have to imp uh, you have to impute the load as 9.81 in my next video i will be showing you i'll be explaining more on how to get this cantilever load value 9.81 okay so right now once you impute all this right now you just click on what right now you just click on this right now click on the point one of the point of column and then to the next point also now if you look if you, if you move your mouse upward and downward you can see that these things are moving now this is going to show you that what where, which part do you want to insert your cantilever slab is it inward or outward we we want this cantilever slab to be inserted outward so just click on this place outward right now you can see right now that this slab will, will be automatically inserted now you can see that we have successfully created our, our first cantilever slab right now and also looking at this 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 angle here this load this load here this 
and this arrow here simply means that there is that, that, that there is a load on this cant lever as you can see it right now okay so right now the next thing to if we also check on our 3d view right now to see this cant lever slide that we have inputted so go on this place right now right click and then navigate to 3d view right now if we now go right now and then go backward because that is where it is this is the slab that we have just imputed. This is the cantilever slab that we have just imputed. So you can see the cantilever load as you can see there. You can see the load. This 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 load you can you can see the load right now. And also seeing the cantilever length of one meter which you have inserted. Now be before we begin, I will say that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel Ekidel, I will say you should do just that so that you, do, you don't miss my my coming video on how to design and detail this full structure and also i'll be also performing other type of concrete structures for 21 story and also for a steel building so if you have not yet subscribed i will say you should just click on the subscribe button below so you don't miss my coming video okay so let's go back right now to our plan view right now to begin the can't lever um insertion okay so right now we also go right now to this place right now and click back on slab or just click on this place right now since we have already set this click on this place right click and then we just say properties automatically to show us this slab dialog box right now and everything has been set as you can see it here everything has been set and also on this place everything is still set so right now we just click on this point again right and click on this point again then take and click outside or yeah outside in this case outside but if you want your slab to be inserted inward just click inward but in this case since we already have slab here the slab will not be able to insert inward but but, but but rather outward and outward is what we want so just click on this point again and then click on this point again and click outward and then go again right now click on this point again now once you click on this point right now you will see how this cantilever slab will just form itself automatically to at this edge at this edge here so let's just click right now if you click on this point right now and then insert outward you can see how there will be a curve it there will just be a sharp edge you can see that now okay so again we go again right now to insert this again click on this and outward and then also we also um go again click on this and click on this and outward and then also we now do for the last one which is this and then click on this and click on this and outward so this is where we want to end our can't leave our slab now if you go to our 3d view right now to say, okay we also have to do this also to also insert the canvas slab on this end also so we click on this right now and click on this also and click outward now if you go to our 3d view right now to see what we have just done you will see that we have successfully um completed the all all the back on the can't leave on this first floor and as you can see also that the second floor also uh, we have already done that in in my last video you can see that we have already done that also and also if you don't get also to the um, third floor also you can see that everything has already been inserted also now we're gonna go right now and click on our 3d view right now and then click back on our um, story once that we will do that this grid line will go to story one to see this slab that we have just inserted right now okay right now so if you now go right now you can see that this is the slab that we have just inserted they can't leave our back on a slab i can see right now okay you can see it then just now and also if you check this edge right now you can also see the edge that we just formed you can just see that edge here now you can see how we have successfully inserted this this back on the cantilever slab now if you have not yet subscribed to my channel ekidel i'll say you should do just that because in my next video i'll be showing you how to design fully and also detail this full office complex right here in Porta structure and also we will also be exporting this this design to Porta detail to produce all to produce all the to produce all these design detail automatically okay so also i will you know, be doing a manual hand drafting for other type of um for other type of this structure like slab and also columns because you know that um start to end um, this um put structure does not give perfectly um column design detail and also slab detail so i used to do that manually so i will show you all this that is why i say that if you have not yet subscribed my channel click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss my coming video okay so thank you and then watch out for the next